What's going on everybody, Talescape here. Today's video is about this guy I knew in middle school, or some of you may call it junior high. This guy didn't seem like a bad guy, he was just this new kid at school, but when he broke up with my friend, this guy showed his true colors. I was in middle school at the time when there was this new kid in school. He was this tall, probably about 6 foot, skinny blonde kid, and he seemed like a cool guy. One of my friends was attracted to him and they started dating soon after they met. Halfway through the relationship was around the time that I realized that this kid was weird and I just quit hanging out with him. When him and my friend broke up, I didn't see it as a big deal. That was their business. That day, I was in the bathroom when he walked in. Once he saw me, he froze. Hey man, I'm sorry about your friend and I. Shit just didn't work out. He said fearfully. I don't want any problem with you. Why would there be a problem? I asked him confused as I walked out. Well, little did I know, there actually was going to be a problem because after school that day, he was angry about my friend breaking up with him and he decided to take his anger out on one of her friends by throwing rocks at her as she was walking home. The next day, my friend and I heard about this and were obviously very angry. The city I lived in was very involved. Most people knew each other, especially someone who went to school in the city, because most people went through the same school together until they graduated, which was the case with this girl. My friend and I were so angry that we gathered about four people who were just as angry as us, and we all decided that we were going to jump him. We planned this for a week, which was our first mistake. If you're going to jump somebody, just do it. Don't wait. By that time, most people knew we were going to do this. The day came when all six of us were going to jump him. I was waiting in line for lunch when the kid who we planned to jump came up to me. Hey man, you didn't happen to hear anything about me getting jumped, did you? He asked me nervously. No, I told him as I smiled. After school, it was time to jump this kid. Everyone who planned to jump him met up at the same spot and we all waited for him to come out of school. When he did so, we started walking towards him. He noticed us and quickly ran towards a teacher. We split up and decided on another day. The next day at school, I heard that the five of the guys who planned to jump this kid with me were being sent to the principal's office. The kid told on everybody, except for me. I felt guilty and quickly went down to the principal's office to explain that I was the one who orchestrated everything. When I did so, my friend told the principal that it was both of us and the principal let the other four guys go back to class. When we explained to the principal that this guy assaulted a female student and that we took that very personally, especially since this is a girl that I pretty much grew up with, the principal understood our frustration but told us that the incident was not reported so we had no proof of this happening. He told us that if the girl didn't file a report in the next four days that he was going to get the police involved and have us arrested for conspiracy to commit assault. We left the office and my friend told me that he would get the girl to confess. But that was harder than we both thought. Even after explaining to her that we might get arrested, she refused to file a report because of how embarrassed she was. The next day, I tried explaining to her that we really need her to tell the truth about this guy so that this guy can be punished for what he did, but she still didn't budge. By the third day, we were pretty much begging her to fill out the report, and she finally decided to do so. The girl filed a report, and faced with the evidence, the kid admitted everything. His punishment? Nothing at all. He walked away scot-free. The story doesn't end there though, because a week later I found out this kid had a sister, and in glorious fashion, I got really close to his sister. One day, as his mom and him went to pick up his sister, I hugged her, stared right at the brother, and smiled at him. Now it would have been the ultimate payback to show up to his house to hang out with his sister, but we never got that far. I don't even think the family lived there for a month before they moved to another city. That's all for today's video. If you liked it, then like it. And if you want to see more content every four to five days, subscribe to Howlscape. Until next time.